Hi, it's uh, Lloyd again from Blackpool Air Rifles, uh, bringing you another video today on variations on a theme. Uh, basically, we've got three new rifles, or we've got three variations of rifles that are already out on the market, and I think you'll be quite interested to see them. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, the SIGs, uh, the SIG rifle, which is the you've probably seen these already, the semi-automatics. Um, this is the the MPX version um, with the longer sort of dummy silencer. Uh, comes with the uh, telescopic sights and mounts, but the main thing is with this, this is the new FDE one, or flat dark earth, that's basically all you've got is uh, just a different colour variation. Uh, some people absolutely loving the colours, uh, something different to be honest, you don't see many uh, many air guns in FDE at the moment, but as you can see, it looks, looks good, comes with a scope, um, I think these are around about 325 or something like that. Uh, a lot of fun, we've already been uh, playing with these and uh, the semi-automatic mechanism works absolutely fantastic. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to dote on this because you've probably seen the videos already, there's lots of them about. But I just wanted to show you that the new FDE model is actually in the UK now and that's actually on sale in the, your local gun shop I guess. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is, and you might have also seen these, uh, you certainly will have seen videos on the uh, on the LGU, which is the Walther. Um, this one is the new stocked version. This is actually the LGU Varmint. Um, I quite like the LGU, to be honest with you. I think it's a fantastic rifle. Uh, it's obviously there's there's a design influences from the TX200. There's design influences from the H297. Basically, it's a it's a it's a copy. Uh, but a very good copy and obviously you've got some great technology, the silent spring technology inside the piston. Uh, the main thing is what you're looking at here is you've got the new thumb hole stock which I actually rather like. I'm not a big fan of synthetics. Um, you might notice uh, if I put it that way you can see it, it, it's got a nice chunky foreign, a nice grip. So when you hold that, you do actually feel like you've got something nice in your hand. Also as well, um, the pistol grip uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the pistol grip is actually swelled out at the side slightly. So again, when you're holding that, you've got a really, really comfortable grip on the gun. Uh, and it, it actually puts your finger perfectly into position on the trigger blade. Um, also as well, what I've noticed with thumb holes myself is you do seem to get slightly less felt recoil off it. Um, so overall, I think uh, that's a nice addition to the, uh, the Walther Stable. That's the LGU Varmint, again, in stock. And last but no means least, the really, really important one, um, which is the new BSA R10 SE. These have only just arrived yesterday. Um, everybody seems to love the R10. It's a really, really popular model. The Mark 1 wasn't so much. The Mark 2 uh, went down really, really well, and uh, reliability improved dramatically. Uh, performance was fantastic. Uh, you know, you get a lot of shots out of it. So, what have they done with the uh, with the SE model? And by the way, this is actually completely replacing all the Mark II. So, this is this is, in a couple of weeks' time. This is the only gun you're going to be able to get. Obviously, they're going to do it in lots of different variations. I think there's about 30 something of them. Um, what you've got is you you'll have the the standard version, which is this one. You'll have a uh, super carbine, which is basically going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit light, a little bit lighter, a little bit more manageable. You'll probably lose one or two shots off it as well, because obviously with a shorter barrel. Uh, you've got the gun in walnut, as you can see here, which looks lovely. I think they've done a fantastic job. This is a Minelli made stock, and uh, it's a it's a great shape. They, that's a nice thing. They haven't changed that, but I'll go over the changes in a second. Um, they're going to be doing the black one, they're going to be doing the camouflage one as well, I think it's the woodland green. Uh, so you're going to have all the choices available, uh, which is nice. So what have they changed about the SE and, and, and is it, does it make sense, is it any good, is it worth the extra few quid? Um, <coughs> well I'll start off at the back, um, they've actually put a multi adjustable recoil pad on. Okay, uh, now hopefully, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see that on the video, but you can see they've actually put an extension piece on there and the pad can actually adjust a left and right as well as up and down. So what I've done before the video, I've actually set that pad to how I feel comfortable with it. You can see basically I've given it a cant. So when it actually comes into the shoulder there, it actually fits really, really snugly into the shoulder and that's, that, is a, that is an improvement and that's well worth it. I think, I think adjustable recoil pads should come on, on, on every high-end air rifle to be honest with you. I think that's great. So, that's brilliant, that's worth the money alone to be honest with you in my opinion, that's fantastic. Moving forward, um, 
you've got uh, an extra spare magazine in the box. So you get two magazines with the gun now, which again, nice little touch. Uh, the regulator, which is obviously hidden uh, underneath the stock work, they've actually improved that. They've got a 25% better regulator, which, which gives you about 250 shots in 2.2, and I think it's about 190 and 177. So again, I mean, 250 shots out of a little 280cc bottle, is it 200cc bottle, I think, uh, like that is, is absolutely excellent. You know, you, you, you're doing really well. Um, the other thing uh, that you will obviously notice is we've got the new CSS, I think it's called, uh, Customer Shroud, no, Customer Configurable Shroud, um, or something similar to that. Uh, I'm not really that keen on acronyms, but basically what you've got is, uh, the old R10, you could choose either the bull barrel or you could choose the VC. The bull barrel has basically got this extra piece around the barrel, which makes it look pretty, it's chunkier. Um, and the VC one had the old, um, I think they were called variable choke or variable choke silencers. So you used to have that on the front. With this one, it's actually configurable. So you, you get everything you need with it. Um, if you decide that you don't want a bull barrel gun, you actually remove the silencer, you put a nut on it uh, after you've taken that off and then you put the silencer back on. So you're just left with what looks like the old fashioned VC silence version. Or like I say, you've got the bull barrel one, which I personally think just just makes it look a little bit prettier. Uh, also as well, the silencer is a little bit more efficient, uh, which is nice. It's, 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 it's hard to tell, but they're saying it's a little bit quieter. I think, to be honest with you, there's not an awful lot in it. The VC was pretty good anyway. Um, okay, so that's, that's really all the extra bits you get in it, which is really nice because I think BSA could have like, played too much with the rifle and ruined it or made it too expensive. Uh, cost of this, uh, you're going to probably people are going to be probably selling them at around about the £750 mark, which means about £50 more than a, a standard old Mark II gun. Um, is it worth 50 quid extra? Yeah, of course it is, because you've got like the 35 quid magazine, you've got the adjustable recoil pad, you've got extra shots, etc., etc. Um, is there anything that's not so good about it? Well, yeah, there is actually, because like, what are BSA doing with all the different colours of black? Why, why don't we just have all black, like one black, you know, as in shiny black or, or, or uh, this matte finish, but the, there just seems to be too many colours on it for my liking, to be honest with you. A little bit like it's sort of either unfinished or different people have worked on different things and it's all come together. It doesn't affect the performance, doesn't make any difference, and probably 99% of you probably wouldn't give a monkeys, to be honest with you, because it's a fantastic gun. But I just wish that BSA would actually... Um, homogenize or make the whole gun look um, the same uh, which, would, which would be absolutely great so maybe that will come on the next version uh, I have a feeling actually because of this that probably quite a few people are, are maybe going to uh, get them maybe seracoated or something like that so you've got a consistent finish and I think a, 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 an all seracoated all black one consistent finish gun would actually look classier um, but apart from that I think that's really the only complaint I can, I can um, I can say about it to be honest with you, so lovely rifle. Uh, these are available now, we've already got the 221s in stock, 177s are due literally at any moment, so um, so if you want one of the new SEs, uh, we've got them on the website, um, or if you go to, you know, you want to use your local dealers, which is great, uh, just give your local dealer a ring now and um, I'm sure that they'll be getting them very, very soon. BSA have done a good job with this actually. Um, one of the things that has been quite annoying for me and quite annoying for a lot of other people to be honest with you is the fact that like a lot of companies um, release uh, details about new products and stuff and then they said yeah it's coming and then it's another six months before it arrives. Uh, BSA haven't done that, they've been fairly fairly quiet about this, they've actually got the stock built up ready to go and when I rang them and, and asked them, you know, I said look you know, we want some, when are they coming, they're basically saying right well we're building on this week which is fabulous. So again, um, you know, well done BSA, uh, they seem to be doing things that a lot of other companies don't seem to understand how to do it properly. But apart from the colour scheme, everything else absolutely fantastic, um, and that's about it, so uh, highly recommend it. Okay, uh, that's it for this week, nice short video, uh, you've seen three new models, I um, hope you like them all, subscribe or give us a comment below, and uh, speak to you next week, thank you very much, bye! It's a rat. It's a rat, brew time. That'll do, won't it? Yeah, good. Right, let's go.